In our economics classes, students use graphs. But I'm very much aware that some students come into class with some degree of anxiety about understanding graphs. So in response, I have developed Bob's patented four steps for understanding graphs. Before we start, think about a number line. A number line is a horizontal line that is uh, subdivided into, uh, with little tick marks. And by common agreement, numbers to the right are greater than zero, positive numbers, and numbers to the left are negative numbers less than zero, less than zero. And it is also possible to make a vertical, straight up and down number line, and by common agreement, numbers that go upward are greater than zero, positive numbers, and numbers that go downward are negative numbers. But in economics, we usually focus on counting things. So we can ignore the red parts of the number line, the negative numbers, and just focus on the black parts of the number line, which show positive numbers. So that brings us to step one of Bob's patented four steps for understanding economics. Look for the economics L. The black parts of the number line form an L shape with zero in the bottom left-hand corner. When you see the L in a graph, it tells you that that graph is measuring two things and that the numbers are greater than zero. Step two is to look at the sides of the economic cell for the labels that will tell you what are the two things that are being measured. In the, this example, the graph is measuring price and quantity demanded. Step three looks one at a time at each point inside the economic cell. And each one of those points is telling you two pieces of information. The upper left point says that a high price motivates the consumer to buy a low quantity. And the lower right point says that a low price will lead to a high quantity demanded. In step four, you kind of move back from the graph to get the big picture. And you imagine you're walking on the graph from left to right on the line. Because why left to right? Because that's how we read. And as you're walking on this graph, you're walking downhill. And that means that the graph is showing you what I call a less and more relationship. Less price, more quantity demanded. And that is the point that the graph is telling you about economics. There is a less and more relationship between price and quantity demanded. It's what economists call the law of demand. Believe in yourself. You can learn how to use graphs. Where there's a Wilmington, there's a way.